With this hustle culture becoming more and more prevalent and everyone preaching that you have eight extra hours in the day after you finish work, what are you doing? I decided to go out and try this myself and sign up for Fiverr for 30 days to see just how much money you can actually make. Going into this, I figured I'd be able to make a few bucks, but doing some research before, I wasn't really sure exactly how much I would actually be able to make because I saw some different posts that people were able to get gigs within the first week that they signed up and then there was other people that said that they couldn't get a gig within like the say first six months of signing up. So I wasn't really sure. There's a big fine line area of if you're gonna be able to get a job within the first little bit or if it's gonna take some time to actually build up that credit and get some ratings and be able to get your first gig. And I feel like that first gig is probably one of the toughest to get. And once you get that, it might start snowballing into that but I'll kind of get into that, how much I made, areas I could have improved upon and what you can expect if you do go into Fiverr and expect to make a lot of money or wanna just start it and see how well you can actually do. Now starting out, I'm not one to come up with excuses or blame something on something else that I wasn't able to get something or achieve something, but this month was pretty hectic for me, so I was able to sign up and get my first gig posted on June 1st, and then after that I had a really busy week or two, and I wasn't really able to do anything after that, so it was just kind of sitting there with that one gig, and then after that I was like, okay, no one's really reaching out to me, I'm gonna have to get another gig in there to see if I'm able to get more people reaching out or anyone to reach out for that fact. And around June 15th, I was able to get another gig on there. And when I'm coming up with my gigs, I'm typically doing stuff that I enjoy doing and that I'm actually somewhat decent at. So if someone does hire me, I'll be able to put out a good product for them. So up until June 15th, I didn't have anyone reach out to me to help them out with a gig. But what I did realize is throughout this month is that you will get a lot of people. It's like they're trying to set up a business deal with you where they're not in America and they're trying to collaborate with you. And basically what they'll say is that throughout the first few months of working with them or partnership with them is that they'll give you X amount of dollars, $200 or something. And then after that, they're gonna give you a percentage of how much they make, say 10 or 20%. And it just seems like a scam where it's like, oh, it's gonna be completely passive income. All you have to do is partner with me. And it just kind of seems like they're getting access to be able to work in America since they're not American citizens. And I think you need to be an American citizen to work for Fiverr. So it seems like they're just trying to reach out to you to form partnerships. And throughout the first 15 days, I didn't receive anyone for my gigs, but I did receive that from some random person. And later down the road, I also had about four or five other people that did reach out to me with basically the exact same business, business template. And Fiverr does kind of flag them down the line as spam. This one guy ended up creating two or three different accounts, sending me the exact same message, trying to get my business or become a partner with him. And it just seems like there's a bunch of people on there that work for Upwork or say they do, and they're trying to partner with some American to be able to work on Fiverr because maybe there's better opportunities on Fiverr. I'm not really sure. So that was about all that I really received from Fiverr when I signed up from different people that were just saying, hey, let's form a partnership. It's basically passive income for you. You don't really have to do anything. And it just kind of seems scammy to me. So obviously I didn't really want to do that. And since I wasn't really getting anyone to reach out to me to help them out with their gigs or to help them out with their gigs for the two that I had up, I ended up getting another one on there and basically put my prices as low as possible and basically said, this is a promotional opportunity. I'm new to Fiverr, I have skills, I'm able to do your work and I'm just trying to get some reviews right now. So that was my third one that I ended up doing. And throughout that month, I didn't have anyone reach out to me. And I'm not sure if it was because of my descriptions or if it was my pictures or if it's because my pricing was off, but I did have one where I was completely under everyone and I was as low as possible. And I looked at other ones to compare in the market for that same business. And I was well below everyone else, so I'm not really sure what it was, but I did not have anyone reach out to me in the 30 days. And I'm recording this a little bit later than I wanted to just to see if anyone else would reach out. And currently I have not had anyone reach out to me. I've been on there, I've had three gigs on there for about 50 days now, and I've not had anyone reach out to me other than those people that are trying to form partnerships with you. Going into what I think I could have done better or improved upon to maybe help generate some 
leads or gigs or people reaching out to me is creating a personalized video saying, hey, this is what I can do. And one of the ones was video editing. So I could have done that and done some different aspects of what I can do and show them my work. And that's one opportunity that I didn't really capitalize on. I could have done it for my other ones as well, but I didn't do that. And that's kind of one thing that they say you can do to help generate more business. And then the other one that I think you can do is there's badges on Fiverr that you can do to help promote yourself, to make yourself look better that you were certified or you have this badge that shows that you have knowledge in this area and that you're accredited and people will be more likely to go to you. So getting into do I think you should do it and try it out or if you're looking into it, if what you can expect, I would say that if you are signing up, there's a lot of saturation in Fiverr now and I believe that it's gonna be a lot more tough to get that first gig, but I think once you do get that first gig, it might snowball into a greater effect where you're gonna get more people reaching out to you for the gigs because if you do get high ratings, people are gonna see that, they're gonna think you're good, and more people are gonna keep coming to you. And if you do get someone that does choose you and you provide a really good product, they're probably gonna keep coming back to you and they're gonna leave you a good rating and also that, that's gonna keep coming in the door and you're not gonna have to wait for other people. That person's just gonna keep cycling back through and then you might build up more and more and that's just gonna keep snowballing into more people. The good thing about Fiverr is once you sign up and get your gigs on there, you don't really need to do anything else. People will find that gig and come to you. But if you do wanna keep branching out and putting more gigs out there to branch out your services to do different stuff, I would say that's the good thing about Fiverr where you can just set it and then once you set it, you can just wait for people to come in however long that may take. That may take a week, that may take a month, that may take six months, that may take a year. You don't really know how long it'll take. It just seems like there's a lot of saturation in the market on Fiverr right now, so it gets a little bit tough to get your first gig. And it also depends on which professional service that you are trying to offer because I feel like there are more people in certain areas and there's less people in other areas. So it just kind of depends on what area you choose to go in. And you don't really want to be going in an area that you don't like because then you might not like the work and you might not put out a good product and you might not get a lot of gigs and it might just be a bad experience and then you might just end up quitting later down the line. Whereas if you're doing something that you actually enjoy, you're going to find more pleasure out of that and you're also going to be perfecting that skill at the same time. So if it's something like video editing, and for me, I do personally like that and I would like to pursue that more outside of Fiverr or in my personal career. So for me, I'm able to perfect that a little bit more just doing something on the side that's like that. But one thing that I do want to touch upon is that the book I'm currently reading, Hustle and Float, it just kind of seems like we're developing a culture that's all hustle and all productivity where we're going 24 seven. And what the book kind of preaches is that this isn't really the way to be living. And when you're a creative, it's hard to be productive that many hours in a day. It says for a creative, you can basically only have six hours per day that you're able to have good productive work in. And it also touches upon Uber and Lyft where you're basically an independent contractor, but Fiverr would fall under this as well because you technically don't work for that company. You work for yourself where you're an independent contractor and they don't have to pay you a specific wage. And they took averages for Lyft and Uber and basically found out they're making less than minimum wage and people are overworking themselves just to make barely minimum wage. But when they did this calculation, they took in all the other factors like gas, paying for toll routes, fixes on the car, and all the other different expenses that go into having your own business for Uber or Lyft. But with Fiverr, you might just only need your laptop or whatever else you need to offer your professional services. So it might get a little bit different in the average price that you can make. But with Fiverr, the good thing, like I said earlier, is that once you put your gigs up there, they sit there until people come to you. So you don't really need to keep marketing yourself and putting more stuff out there until people come and hire you for your services. Now my final verdict on what I think you should do with Fiverr and if you should sign up is basically lower your expectations on making money because it might not happen right out the gates. It might take six months to get your first gig and start building up from there. So it's not gonna be right once you start, you're gonna be getting gigs like nonstop. It's probably not gonna be that way. Depending on what service you offer, it might not happen. So I'd lower your expectations in the amount of jobs that you think you're gonna be getting and the amount of money that you're gonna be getting because you're probably gonna lose motivation pretty quickly if you think you're gonna sign up and you're gonna be making say 100,000 this next year or $50,000 because that probably won't happen. 
And another thing is, I wouldn't say spend all your time on Fiverr. You want to make sure that you're enjoying your life and the process and everything that you're doing. You don't want to spend all your time on here doing that hustle culture. So if this is going to be an extra side hustle for you, I don't think you should go in and spend all your extra free time on Fiverr to try and make a couple extra bucks. I think you should just go in and spend a couple hours here and there, maybe daily just one extra hour a day on your Fiverr work if you are just trying to make some extra side income. So unfortunately I wasn't able to make any money on Fiverr and I was expecting to maybe get a couple gigs. I was at least hoping to get a couple gigs. And with this video I tried to make something out of nothing, kind of like Seinfeld. But if you do watch Seinfeld, a little fun fact is that the show is not actually about nothing. It's about a comedian and how he comes up with his jokes and just his daily life. So I tried to make this a video out of nothing since I didn't make any money. So as always, thanks for watching and let's level up.